What's up guys, it's boy Nathaniel Messiah from All Things Messiah. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my cutting diet and everything I'm doing on my cut. So all my cardio, all my workouts, everything. Um, I've lost about five kilos on this cut. Uh, at my very lowest, I got down to about 80 kilos, but the weight loss was too fast. I lost about two kilos in three days. Um, so I had to eat myself back up to around 82 kilos and I took it from there. So I started off at about 86.5. So that means I lost like 6.5 kilos. Then I ate myself back up to 82. And right now I'm like 81 and a bit. So we're going to do a weigh-in. We're going to see where we are. And then we're going to take from there. We're going to show you all my meals and my macros. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So my current weight is 81.4 kilos. That means I've lost about 5.1 uh, kilos since the beginning. That puts me around 179 pounds. And I started off at 190, so that's about 11 pounds lost. So... We're doing well guys, we're doing well. So the main reason for doing this cut was that, well I need to cut anyway because it's a bit heavy, but the main reason for this cut was that I'm going on holiday to Dubai in about four weeks, no four weeks exactly as of today. So the cut's been going all right, but I haven't committed to daily cardio, I haven't, I haven't been tracking my macros properly. So I'm getting the progress I've made so far. However, if I stick to daily cardio, if I stick to tracking my macros, if I stick to working out more times per week, I'm going to try to work out four or five times per week, then I think I can make some good progress and shred pretty quickly. So we're going to see what we can do within these next four weeks. I'm going to try track these four weeks, do like one vlog of the um, shred per week, as well as my other videos, because I need to hit you guys with some variety. But yeah, since I moved out of my old room, it's just turned into like extra closet space type of thing. Like my own shoes all there and that. The lines up, but I'm gonna be moving back in here soon um, because my parents are no longer planning to foster. So yeah, I'm gonna be back up here, and I do like it up here because the lighting in here for taking videos is actually a lot better. So yeah, and there's more space obviously, and we got the map. So yeah, gotta love the map. So if I'm not incorrect, Dubai is in UAE, which is over there. And then we are all the way over there. So yeah, it's I think it's a decently long flight, but yeah, man. And say what's up. What's up? What's up? Good, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> hit again. Hit again. Hit again. Hit again. Whoa. <laughs> hit the word, boy. But yeah, so to start off the day, me and Ethan are gonna go um, to the park. I'm gonna go do a run. There's a skate. There's a skate park. We're well, not really a skate park. Well, what, a bike park. A bike park near here, and it's also like a nice place to go run. So I'm gonna go for a run. Get some like, morning cardio in, fasted. He's gonna go in the bike park and do the ramps and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. ready? Let's go. Let's go. Go get your bike off. Okay. Do you know how to put the lock back on? Yep, it's hard. Yeah, do it. It's too hard. Do it. Bit. Come on, man. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Just look at this. Do you can't even get in properly? Is it the lock or is it you? Oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I'm just going to keep going on this 30 minute jog. Um, I was with my brother, but we were coming up and he literally crashed straight into the back of me and broke his bike so I had to send him home with the bike come up for the run of my own so yeah guys we're gonna get to the park and then maybe go around it a bit and then come back so yeah all right guys so I'm back from my run now um, it's time to have some breakfast, but the thing is, the time is two something, like my, my phone is a long time. So they say it's like five past two, right? So I've basically been doing intermittent fasting, but not like for the sake of intermittent fasting, just for the fact that I like eating a lot of food. So it's easier to kind of condense that into like an eight hour window than it is to have it for 16 hours. But So I don't do it every day, but most of the weekdays I do it. Like yesterday I did an intermittent fast. But well, most days I have my first real meal around half one, but today it's gonna be around probably half two. So um, it's just a bit easier, and then I can eat bigger meals because I just I just don't like eating really small meals. I just prefer to eat just big proper meals, but not as many of them. So yeah. So we're gonna have this smoked salmon. Oh, 
onion. We'll go with three whole eggs and an egg white. That's pretty much the sweet spot for me. Technically speaking, I broke my fast this morning because I ate a couple pieces of pineapple, but we're going to forget about that and pretend I didn't eat anything. So as I said, today I'm going to be really exact with my macros, or at least try to be. So I'm going to weigh out the smoked salmon, um, and yeah. So, <clears throat> this is 60 grams of smoked salmon. I'm going to cut the onions next. To cut our own calories, I'm going to be using this one calorie spray. Um, yeah, just means that I don't have the calories from the you get from like olive oil and that. Okay guys, yeah, so this whole meal is 610 calories. I tracked everything down from the butter to the ketchup to the onions. Everything is most tracked and I'm washing it down with some coconut water. So, yes, we're going to enjoy this and then get on with the day. Get a little top, obviously, ten foot coming soon. Yeah, Alright, so basically, the situation is I came to church, right? They were doing this little health expert thing. So they offered me food and the thing is, this is like pretty much all carbohydrates. So I'll probably eat the roti, a bit of the rice. Um, I'm not even, I haven't really hit much of my macros today already. So I can afford to eat some of it, but I definitely can't eat all of this because I'll just go way off track. That, that, how do you make apps? Make apps? Yeah. So I have to design them. Okay, you're breaking up. Oh. It's a, it's a long process. Alright guys, so the benefit of saving loads of calories towards the end of the day is that you can have really anything that fits your macros. Um, so we are having this chicken right here. And the thing with my diet is, one thing I was going to say is, all I care about is my protein intake and my calories. I don't really care about like what, how much carbs I have that day, how much fat I have that day. Because as long as, say my goal is 2,000 calories, as long as I get like 150 grams of protein and 2,000 calories, that's fine. Like I don't really care. I'm not really super specific about uh, how much carbs I get, how much fat I get. I'll kind of tweak that intuitively if I like. If I seem flat, then I'm like, okay, I'll drop the fat, raise the carbs. If everything's fine, like if on a day like this day, I'll probably have higher fats because of this. It's fine. Like as long as I get my calories in, calories are pretty much calories. So yeah, guys. The only thing I make sure I get in is protein. But yeah, so we're getting in three chicken wings and then just one piece of chicken, it's got some sweet chili sauce on it. So, basically my total macros, my total calories, sorry, for the day is about 1600 right now because the roti was about 400 calories. Then this chicken wings are like three, like 200 or something, 250, that's like 300 calories. So yeah, so we're at about 1600 calories now. So I'm aiming for about 20, 2100, 2200 today because I've been extremely active today. Um, I've walked several miles, I've run, um, I've walked several miles because like walking back and from, forth from the station, like I've uh, been playing a lot of basketball, I was, um, I did that cardio this morning and then I'm going to go hit a gym session after this. So this is the, probably the most active day I've had in a while, so my calories are going to be higher today. And then on a day like tomorrow when I'm still working out, we drop it down to like 2000 something. And it, my off day, I'll probably be about 1900 calories, so yeah. Alright guys, so I'm just cooking up some chicken to have now and for the rest of the week. Well, for a bit of the week. So I've got some, this kind of seasoning paste that I made from jerk seasoning, all purpose seasoning, a bit of soy sauce, a bit of barbecue sauce. It tastes really good over it. So I'm just gonna pour that over it. At this point, sodium isn't really a concern. So, you know, make your, make your food taste good. Make your food taste good. All right guys, so I put it in the oven for around 30 minutes. The oven's now properly heated, that's what the beeping was for. So my mum's gonna take that out when it's finished because I'm gonna go to the gym in the next 10 to 15 minutes, so yeah.
Philip on the track So, we're about to have the last meal now. I'm back home from the gym. Um, I am so tired. Like, when I was in the gym, I was finding it hard to get through the workout because I've done a lot today. Obviously, we had that run earlier. Then we had all the walking, all the playing basketball, then the workout. And my thing, my, um, the, f- the distance track in my fitness pal says I've walked, like, seven miles. Well, that's including the... The run, which was probably about two miles. So I probably walked five miles miles today. Uh, actually, run was probably about three miles. I don't know. Either way, total of running and walking around seven miles. Definitely more, obviously, because I didn't have my phone everywhere with me. So probably like seven and a half miles of walking today. And then, so I'm just ready to get this food in me and then just go to sleep. I think I'm probably gonna raise up to two two thousand two hundred and fifty or something like that because I've expended a lot of calories today. So, yeah, I think that will put me in the, the right position because I probably burned a good 500 more calories than I usually would today. Maybe a bit less, but even then, uh, still a lot. So I'm th- I'm, this next four weeks is going to be an aggressive cut, but I'm ready to get it on. So I'm ready to get shredded. So, 
Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to try and measure up some of this chicken. And um, I've got the vegetables, the frozen vegetables in there, just heating up. Alright guys, so part one of the last meal is chicken and vegetables. Uh, 150 grams of chicken, like a serving or two of vegetables. I'll calculate it and put it on, put it into my fitness pile. But oh yeah, man, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. So my calorie splits today were 151 grams of protein, 209 grams of carbs, and 96 grams of fat. So I had a higher fat day and a lower carb day than I usually would, which I actually don't care about. Like carbs and fats to me. As long as I'm getting my minimum required for fats, because, you know, to keep your hormones good and everything like that, then I'm fine. If I go over, if I go under, it just means that my carbs come up or down and I'm not too fast. As long as I'm not looking flat, then, um, yeah, if I'm looking flat, I'll bring the carbs up, bring the fats down. But the only thing I really care about in this cut is calories and protein. As long as I'm getting those two things correct, I can tweak anything else intuitively. So... That being said, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got a bit more insight into what it takes to kind of get shredded. Even though I'm not yet shredded, we're getting there. So if you want to follow me on this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that all my videos that come out, you're aware of. Because if you miss a video, then, I mean, you're just missing extra information. And that's on you. That's on you. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later.